This is the Zion Smooth 4, a relatively inexpensive three axis stabilizer gimbal. It can be purchased online from takealot.com for 1,799 South African rands or off of Amazon for 99 US dollars. But I have a very important question for you. Do you really need it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on just one minute, man. Your question needs a little bit of context. It all depends on how you plan to use the gimbal. How's it going everybody? If you're new to the channel, my name is Matt and I primarily make motor vlog POV style videos. My entire mission with this channel is to number one, share my passion of motorcycling with the rest of the world and number two, to share the beauty of South Africa with the rest of the world. Now with this in mind, it's quite often that I might attend some or other event that I want to share some of the things I see with the rest of the world and this would normally be handheld type content and with stuff like this, you just really need something much better than just your cell phone and i mean phones are good don't discredit them their anti-shaking is really great but when you're trying to make high quality production level videos it's, it's just not gonna cut it man now i had the gimbal for a very short period of time i was borrowing it from a friend to do some filming for my fiance's end of year crash and so before i returned it i was like i gotta get a review in man i thought this thing was amazing to work with and i just want to share my opinion on it with the rest of the world Oi, can I have the frame back? I was talking there and you interrupted me. You're bloody rude. Nobody cares about your backstory. <coughs> Guys, I need to tell you a little bit more about the Zion Smooth 4. You see, it features a really cool all-in-one control panel that is accessible right where your hands are, which makes it really great because you don't need to interact with the screen in order to do any of the functions that your camera requires. It features a really cool rotating hand wheel, which allows you to zoom in or out of an object smoothly or to change the focus settings of your lens. It has this really cool rotating dial on the face which allows you to adjust the brightness or the exposure settings of your shot. Another cool feature of the Zion Smooth 4 is that it has a two-speed rotation trigger. This allows you to either rotate the camera at a fast speed or at a smooth speed depending on the type of shot that you're trying to achieve. It also has object tracking which you simply engage by drawing a square over the screen of your smartphone. I must point out though that this seemed to give me better results when I was tracking static objects than when I was trying to track a dynamic object like my dog running on the beach. Zion claims that the Smooth 4 has a 12 hour battery life which I think is absolutely incredible because you're probably not going to be filming for that long in one day. I know that I don't have enough storage space or battery life on my phone to actually utilize that full 12 hours of recording time. So it's great peace of mind to know that my equipment won't fail on me whilst I'm trying to record. Another neat feature is that it has a toggle switch for locked or point focus mode. Point focus simply allows you to turn the gimbal and your phone will track to the direction that you've pointed it in or locked will allow it to focus in one direction so you can sort of move past objects while you're filming. The Zion Smooth 4 also has a 210 gram payload capacity. This allows it to support a whole variety of smartphones on the market. It is also compatible with Filmic Pro. However, I must say that using the ZY Play app is actually really good because it comes with built-in easy to set up tutorials for the Smooth 4 and in fact for any of the Zion products. This makes setup a breeze and you'll be able to start filming your first video within five minutes of unboxing. Okay, hang on just, just one second. Nobody cares about all the geeky technical specification stuff that you're talking about. They just want to know if they need a gimbal or not. Let me tell you why I think you should go ahead and get this gimbal. First of all, it is so easy to set up and get using because there are in-app tutorials in the ZY Play mobile app. Because you're using a stabilization device, it gives you super, super smooth footage. And this means that it's great for use with things like hyperlapses or cinematic film sequences all filmed from your mobile phone. We need to understand cell phones have got great cameras in today's day and age and instead of going and spending a lot of money on expensive cinematic cameras if you're making entry-level productions then this is some technology for you. And my oh my the controls are so easy to use. Having the ability to just zoom in and out of an object without needing to interact with the screen or changing the 
focus and lighting makes it really easy to film footage really quickly and changing scenes, especially if you're doing some sort of handheld sequence where you're walking through a building or something where the lighting changes from room to room. And the last thing I think that's really great with this gimbal, I mean, it has a 12 hour battery capacity. Now full disclaimer, I never got to use the gimbal for a full 12 hours because let's be honest, who actually has battery life like that or storage space like that on their phone? I'd used it for about three hours and I hadn't even used a quarter of the available battery capacity. But I have to be honest, man, there is one flaw with the Zion Smooth 4 gimbal. Now, as my bipolar self mentioned previously, the Zion Smooth 4 only has a 190 gram payload capacity. And as a motorcyclist and a person who's very clumsy, when I purchased my phone, I made sure that I had a very strong UAG indestructible cell phone cover so as not to cause unnecessary damage to my phone but as many of you people that may have used the UAG cell phone cover already know these things are like impossible to take off once you put your phone into a UAG cover it's like it's meant to stay there the UAGs were never designed to come off and with the weight of the UAG cover on my cell phone it's actually a little bit too heavy for the Zion Smooth 4 so I have to take it off. And here came a nice piece of the bad luck from last year. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. But apart from that, I honestly cannot find any other fault with the Zion Smooth 4. It works as it's supposed to. It makes the, sta uh, the image stabilization exceptionally great. Blah! Exceptionally great exceptionally great. So in honesty, in order to answer the question, do you really need a gimbal? I think you need to ask a different question. The question you should be asking yourself is, do you want to make high quality production level handheld footage with a cell phone? Guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you've made it this far, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know, what do you think about this Moto Vlog style product review? It was a cool concept in my mind, at least. I hope I've helped you all make up the decision of whether or not you need a gimbal today. And if I have, if you're looking to go and purchase the Zion Smooth 4, there is an Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. It's been awesome hanging out with you guys today. This is my first video of 2022 still weird to say that 2022 so whatever life is throwing at you just remember don't look down look ahead and until next time ride safe